Cisco Tips and Tricks Putty. In this video, I will show you a few things that you can do with Putty, an application that allows you to manage your router. I recommend that you should use Putty instead of a Hyper Terminal. You can go to Google and download this application as freeware. Uh, the good thing about Putty is that it's, it's a single file, so you can just go and download a single exe file and take it with you. Okay. Uh, um, today I will show you how to use Putty to manage your router uh, much faster and how to customize a few things in it. Okay. So first of all, what I want to show you is when you type show run, sometimes you have so many lines that you will not see everything on the screen. Okay. For instance, show tech support. Okay, a command that a Cisco engineer will ask you to type and send this output to them. Okay. But for instance, you don't want to send it. You just want to see a few things on the screen. Okay. So we go right click here. We go to change setting. window and we change the number of lines in here okay let's say 1500 okay Take a look we were able to see just a few pages here okay so let's try and type it again okay we can see much much more of course this command is it's a special command so uh, when you type show run and you change it to 1500, you will see everything on the screen uh, for sure. Okay, so that's the first thing that uh, it, it's really good to know uh, how to change in Putty. Okay, the second thing is that sometimes you want to save everything that you're doing at the moment to a log file. So for instance, all changes, all commands, all messages that are on the screen can be logged by Putty. Okay. Sometimes it's good to do it for security purposes or in a way for a backup solution, as a backup solution. So for instance, you, uh, you, you didn't have time to prepare a, you know, a plan to go back if something goes wrong. Uh, so you can save everything to a log file and you will remember what you have been doing in the last 10 minutes. Okay. So we go to change settings again go to logging okay and here we can specify a log file name so we should browse and just type a name we want so let's say test yeah, let's let's say test 11 that's fine with me and you just save it now we want to have a printable output okay so if you go for this option it will log everything a lot of strange characters so you should go for this option okay click apply and now let's try and do a few things on this router let's go under an interface type no IP address go back type show run okay and let's do show tech support as well okay now we should stop the logging process we go to change settings logging disable that apply now we can go to uh, documents and uh, open the file Let me show it to you open it in WordPad, not in Notepad because sometimes Notepad will not uh, open it in the right way okay and as you can see everything was locked okay including a message like this okay so I have my running config okay and when I scroll down I have my show tech support of course you could achieve that by sending this file to a TFTP server and I will uh, show you how to do it probably in the next video okay but everything is here 
The last thing that I want to show you, Patty, is how to customize this window. Okay, so maybe you do not like white and black, yeah? So you want to change the background color or the size of the font. Okay, so again, right click here, change settings, and it's pretty easy. Under window, appearance, so here a lot of people go and change the size, for instance. Your eyes will uh, thank you for that, okay? And especially if you change the background color, okay? Remember, white and black is not good, so uh, you can try and change that, okay? And you do it in colors. So here you can say the background color should be white, okay? And the font color should be black. Okay, it's much easier to read and of course you can customize everything in these settings here under window. Thank you very much for watching.